guys welcome back to my channel so I'm back with yet another haul I mean are you really surprised so it's gonna be random I have some things from online some things from in stores yeah it's just a lot so I'm just gonna get started first of all I want to show you this beautiful bag y'all see it can y'all see it yes how cute is that I love the colors of course, that was from TJ Maxx, 99 cents. Okay, so I guess since I showed you the bag, I'll go ahead and show you the rest of the stuff that I picked up at TJ Maxx. Okay, so the first thing I have to show you all is a t-shirt. And this, again, is from the men's section because, let's face it, they have the best shirts and they're honestly cheaper, I think, than the women's section. Um, and they just have better designs anyway, at least from what I found. This is a men's shirt from TJ Maxx. So, anywho... This was $7.99, looks like this is Mario Kart. I love that it's pink, of course, that's what caught my eye. I was like, ooh, what's on this shirt? So, picked up this one, I love it. This is a size large, and I think it's gonna be a little snug, but I am finally planning to eat better because I'm sick of feeling like crap, and I'm sick of looking like crap. So I'm gonna do something about it, finally. <laughs> so yeah, I've been eating a little a little better the past couple days. I'm giving up soda again because the last time I gave up soda, that's all I did and I lost like 20 pounds just like that with like no effort, no exercising, no anything. The only thing I did was give up soda. So I'm doing that again. Hopefully the, it's, the lighting is good. It looks like it's there it was thundering a little while ago, so it starts the storm. Hopefully this is still good lighting. Okay, so the next couple things are some uh, blah, 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 skincare products. This first thing I came across I thought looked really interesting, but it is a peel-off nose pack, and it's strawberry honey jam. So it's just like a face mask, I guess, but um, specifically for your nose. You just put this on and peel it off. And they had a mocha scented one too, but this one, I think this one sounded better. Um, and this was $4.99. But I thought the packaging was really cute, and of course this is a Korean brand. So hopefully that'll be really nice. And this next item, oh, this next item is also a Korean brand, but I've heard really good things about this. This is Frutia, and this is the Pomegranate Nutra Moisturizing Toner. And you guys, this packaging is so cute, I love it. I didn't even look at the patch packaging in the store. Look how cute that is. Can you see it? The light shining on it, but it's pretty and pink, and the top just screws off, and then it's just like, you know, regular toner type of, bottle but I thought that's so cute I can't wait to like just sit this out of my vanity I can't wait to use it of course too but they also had something else I think it was some kind of serum for your pores but I have so many serums that I didn't pick that one up I kind of wish I did just because I want to try this brand but I didn't need any more serums uh, the last couple things I picked up from TJ Maxx are a couple more Becca blushes one more luminous blush this one is in snapdragon and there's the packaging um, these were $7.99, if you'll can see. Oh, did I say the price of this? This was $5.99. I'm not sure the original prices of those, um, but this one is Snapdragon. And it just looks like that. Really pretty. Do a quick swatch. I haven't even swatched this myself yet, so. Ooh, that's pretty. This is definitely right up my alley. I like these kind of like colors. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of color you would call that, but it's my kind of color, like a peachy coral type of color with some shimmer in it. And then this next one is a mineral blush, and this one is in the color Songbird. This was also $7.99. This color is right up my alley too. Another nice peachy coral color. Ooh, this one seems a little more pigmented than the other one. But there's that one. So that's Snapdragon and Songbird from Becca. I didn't bring any makeup wipes. So that was all I found at TJ Maxx. They didn't have a lot of new stuff, luckily. Actually, I found more stuff, but I had to put a lot back because I was spending too much money. So it's okay. Adulting. Um, next, I just have a few things from ColourPop. I placed an order recently. Well, it's been like... A few weeks now but I've been holding on to this stuff to show you um, I picked up a few things from their new fourth ray beauty line which is like their skincare line um, and I picked up the mellow milk mist because that just sounded really intriguing to me um, let's see it has white tea 
um, calendula flower, marshmallow root, and chamomile and oat milk. Um, and it's for calming and soothing. Calming and soothing. It says AM and PM. I don't know. It just sounded really like something really nice, and it's just like a nice milky pink spray. Actually, I'm gonna spray some right now because why not? <laughs> A bug just flew up my nose. Honestly, when I got this, when I saw marshmallow root, that's when I was like, yep, add to cart because I was hoping it would smell like marshmallow, but it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It kind of just reminds me of the Mario Badescu um, spray. I think like the rose water one, which is weird because I don't think this said it had rose in it, did it? No, maybe it's the chamomile. I don't know. But I've been trying, I've used a little bit of that and I've been liking it so far. I feel like it adds some nice moisture to my skin and all of that good stuff. So the next thing, oh, my butt's sticking to this chair you guys. The next thing I picked up was the watermelon face milk. Now watermelon is just like exploding now all of a sudden. Um, I guess because it's summertime and I love the scent of watermelon. So this is also a little pretty, pretty in pink and this is... I think I said the watermelon face milk and this has watermelon seed oil, bamboo milk, cucumber water, and aloe. And I think I smell the cucumber in this a lot more than the watermelon, which kind of bums me out. It still smells good though. Um, and what does this say? It says a refreshing drop of moisture to balance skin. So yeah. And I've used this a few times too. And it I do like it, so I'll keep using it. Um, and they think I just, they just released a new, um, like, yellow collection that has, like, a turmeric face milk or something. Some yellow stuff in that collection. Um, so, yeah, I picked up those from the skincare. Oh, I totally forgot I got this. Next, I picked up one of their bronzers because I've been on the hunt for, like, a new bronzer. I don't really buy a ton of bronzer and I don't have a ton of bronzer. But I've been on the hunt, like I said, for a new one. And I've heard this one is actually a blush. Ooh, super shock cheek. Um, and it's, it's under the blushes, but I was reading reviews and that people were saying that this is like a great contour color, bronzer color. This is in the shade Aphrodisiac. And it's just like this nice, like, I don't know, contour color, right? So I figured I'd give that a try. I did swatch it already. I have not used it on my face yet, but it's like a really nice cool tone color. You could use it as a blush too, of course, but I got it to try it as a contour, bronzer, what have you. So I'm excited to give that a try. And then since it was um, during their birthday month, I had gotten one of their, f one of the free Super Shock Shadows in Birthday Treat. Looks like this. It's got the cute little like watermelon packaging. It's got the number five on it for their fifth birthday. It kind of sucks. I missed one of their birthdays. I think it was the third one because I have the, sh the free shadow from the first, second, and fourth birthdays. I don't have the third one, but that's okay. And this is in the color, yeah, I said, I think I said birthday treat, but it's just this really pretty, like, peachy, shimmery color. I'm gonna swatch it. Of course. It's really, um, it's like peachy, but it's got, like, the shimmer is, like, pink and silver almost. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but really pretty and I don't have a ton of their shadows I do have a small collection um, but I really like their shadows they're they're really nice then I picked up one of their loose pigments because shoot what's her name Nikia Joy said that this was a dupe for Mac one of Max pigments and I can't remember what it's called I think it's rose something I don't know maybe if you, once you guys see the color of this you'll know what I'm talking about but this is in the shade the dunes and it looks just like the MAC packaging I think I don't own any of the MAC pigments but I think this is pretty similar but God, just stuff everywhere here's what the color looks like and I will try to swatch some without making a freaking mess I don't know if you guys will be able to see the color in there there it is there and if I can find what the dupe is, I'll put it on the screen or something, but I don't know. It looked really pretty and I wanted to give it a try, so that's why I got it. Cat, what do you want? You gotta be right between my legs. What are you doing? Did you eat your lunch? This cat's getting spoiled, like he doesn't want his dry food anymore. We'll feed him and he'll look at the bowl, look at us like, what is this shit? We do give him canned food every once in a while as like a treat, so I think that's probably what he's waiting for. 
but you haven't earned it. What are you doing? I love you so much. Seriously, I love this damn cat, you guys. I don't know what I'd do without him. Okay, next I have some things from Lime Crime. I already turned the box inside out because I mentioned in my um, room tour that I have a couple boxes of theirs and I turn them inside out and keep them because they're really cute. Like, they're so cute. And I like how they have different designs too. So I have like three different boxes instead of three of the same. But anywho, they were having a sale, I think, for Memorial Day. This is how behind I am when showing you guys this. Um, but yeah, they were having a sale and they were also having... Um, you get a free gift with purchase, I think it was $40 or more. You get three mini um, velveteens, which is awesome. And I didn't have any of these colors. I had cashmere, but I think I lost it because I don't have it anymore. So I was really excited to have it again. So I got cashmere, beat it, and red velvet were the three that were free. Super cute, look how little they are. I just, I love minis. So those were free, which I think is awesome. And they are like, that's like a $30, um, it's worth $30 or like $10 each regular price. So that's cool. Um, and then I picked up this brush, I think was on clearance for like $6. And my dumbass didn't look at the picture clearly. And I was assuming it was one of those brushes that had the glitter in it that, you know, falls with the glitter and the liquid. Um, but no, it's just a little flower on there, but that's okay. It's still really cute and was only $6, but it says it's a blush brush. Honestly, I feel like this type of brush would work better for under eye powder because of the shape of it. I don't know, but that's probably what I'll use it for. But I mean, like I said, six bucks, you can't really complain. It is still really pretty, but I really thought it was one of those glitter brushes. <laughs> this is pretty much the main reason why I placed the order because this is the last of the well, actually, there's a new one out now that I don't have the yellow one, but this was, I thought, the last of the Venus Extra Small palettes that I needed. And this is the silver one, um, and I love these colors. They're, like, really cool-toned and just different. I just, I really liked them, and I have the, the gold, I think it is, and the pink. I don't know what the actual colors are, but I have those other small palettes, and then they just came out with a summer one, a yellow one, I don't know. But that one, of course, wasn't on sale. This, I can't remember how much it was. No, wait, I think it was $10. And it's originally like 30, I wanna say. Like, I would not pay $30 for this, sorry. I'll pay 10, um, but yeah, that's the main reason I placed the order. And then I saw that, you know, get the free gift with a $40 purchase, so I had to keep adding stuff to my cart. Um, so I added this because this I could not find at TJ Maxx when they were showing up. I did find one of them, but it was in the color violet. This one is in chocolate milk. This is the one of the plushies, if I didn't say. I really wanted this color. So this I paid full price for, which was like 18 which is okay since I got, you know, the other discounts and the free gift. I, I'm not mad. <laughs> but I really love their plushies because... They're kind of like a liquid to matte lipstick, but they don't dry and get crusty like like the regular ones do. These are like nice, soft, you know, they just feel really comfortable on the lips, but that's what the color looks like there. I really love it, and I definitely want to get more of these because, um, I'm like I mentioned before, I'm kind of getting out of that liquid matte phase because I just, I don't like how they make my lips feel. like after like an hour or not even sometimes my lips just feel so crusty and the way that it just like wears away when you eat and stuff I just I don't I don't like it so I ended up getting rid of a ton of my liquid lipsticks actually I have one more thing from Lime Crime and this is one of their wet cherry ultra shiny lip glosses and this is in the shade fluorescent cherry I thought this one was really cool looking I really wanted the cherry slime one which is like the green glitter but that one wasn't on sale for some reason um, but this one was on sale for, I think, $9, which is, like, half price. It's really cool, though. I really like it. Um, and I like the doe foot. I like how big that is. Even though I have tiny-ass lips, it would probably be hard to use. But And I don't know how often I'll wear this because it's kind of funky, but you, you see how funky I can get sometimes. Um, but that's the color there. I think it's really cool. And I'd like to have some more of these, too. I really like Lime Crime products. Like, I've never... I know there's some, like... There's been, like, some backlash with them in the past like how they handle certain things but I've never had a problem with them and I like their products so I'll continue to purchase from them but that's it from Lime Crime okay next I came across this deal I think it was one of the like coupon sites or glitch 
glitch coupon deal profiles on Instagram that I follow. Um, they posted they posted that this was on sale and plus there was I think another discount code that you could use with it to get it a little cheaper. So I can't remember what this is called. Oh, it's the Mac Shiny Pretty Things Fix Plus Party Pack. So it's like the three um three like scented fix pluses that they have just in like the mini sizes. I think I paid like ten twenty five for this plus the free shipping. So I already know that I I love the um the regular Mac Plus. I actually have two of those because I got them while they were on sale at Ulta. <laughs> so I still have one that is unused. I'm barely even through the first one. But I don't know. I had to get these. I really wanted to try the different scents, even though I'm not a huge rose fan. I feel like. I don't know. I don't. I am not minding the scent as much as I used to. So this comes with the rose scented, the coconut, and the lavender. And I'm not a huge lavender fan either. But somebody actually said this smelled like cologne. So I was like, hmm. I don't mind a sexy smelling man type of scent, you know. So I figured I would just give them a try. They're just super cute, and I love minis, like I said. So, and it was a good deal. So why not? Okay, the rest of the things are just kind of random. Just a couple things each from different places. I had placed an order on Morphe for their new palette, um, the new Such a Gem palette. I think that's what it's called. It doesn't say it anywhere on here. And I don't have the box, but I think that's what it's called, the Such a Gem palette. And when I first saw this, I thought it looked so beautiful. I had to have it. I love um, purples and these kind of colors for like green eyes. But you guys, I've heard so many good things about this and I tried to use this yesterday and I did not have any look any look I did not have any luck like these shadows would not work with me I don't know if it was the shadows or the brush or me like I don't know but I just I didn't have luck with it so I'm gonna have to play around with it again but the colors are absolutely stunning it was a great deal I think it was less than $20 for this um, and they have that after pay now so you can like make it in four payments which is pretty cool um, I think you have to it has to be over a certain amount though Actually, maybe this was more than $20. I don't know. I don't know things, you guys. I just buy it, okay? So I really hope I can get this to work for me. Maybe I just didn't have, like, a good base on or something. I just felt like the shadows weren't blending very good. And I'm definitely going to play around with it. I'm not going to, you know, say that it's a crap palette just yet because I've only tried it once. So definitely going to play around with that. Okay, next I had placed this order because Jamie French had showed this in one of her videos. And I absolutely had to have it. This is the 90s Baby Palette by Peachy Queen. Um, you guys, this is this is just absolutely perfection. Do you see everything that's on it? Do you see the, the Game Boy and the Furby and the Troll and the Tamagotchi and the Floppy Disk and the Ring Pop? Do, do you see it all? I mean, the cassette tape, it's just absolutely perfect. And the colors, look at those. Look at them. And I absolutely love the names. VHS. Jellies, Furby, Tiger Beat, Teen Spirit, Polly Pocket, Tamagotchi, Trolls, Caboodle, Floppy Disk, Scrunchie, and Ring Pop. Like how perfect is that you guys? I absolutely love it. And this is actually what I used on my eyes today. And you know what else? Before I finish what I'm what I'm before I finish talking about this, there's two other things I forgot to show from ColourPop that I used on my eyes today. They are um, two of the glitterly gl glitterly obsessed glitter gel things <laughs> um this one is in hopeless romantic and this one is in disco lady i'll go ahead and open them this one is so pretty you guys i really hope you can see it hopefully you can see like the chunks of like the big heart glitters in there and i actually have a couple on my inner eyes if you can tell and i just dropped that and i don't know where it went and then I used a little bit of this with it. This is the Disco Lady one. This one looks like this. Really, really pretty. So I have some of both of those on my lids, if you guys can tell. The only thing, though, I don't think these are really supposed to go on your eyes. Yeah, it's body glitter. Um, so it did remove the shadow underneath a tiny bit, and I had to keep, like, packing it on to cover, kind of cover that up. Ooh. So keep that in mind. Other than that, I absolutely love them and I think they're stunning. Back to this palette. 
I mean, I don't even know what else to say about it, you guys. It's absolutely perfect. I love how my eye look came out today. You guys have to get this other than that. She has a lot of other really great palettes that look, well, at least they look great. But this one performed really well. I didn't have any problems with this one like I did with the Morphe one. And then along with this, I had to pick up this brush set. It comes in this little case here. It's so cute. But these brushes are adorable. They've got sprinkles in them, you guys. Look. Can you see them? Can you see the sprinkles? They're so cute. I love them. And I actually used the eye brushes today too and they worked really well. Like when I first opened these, I don't know if you can see like all the random hairs that are kind of sticking up out of them and they, they were shedding a little bit before I even used them, but they're super soft and these actually performed really well. So, I mean, I have no complaints. Um, I don't think I mentioned the palette was like $34, I wanna say. And I think the brush set was 18 or 19. Um, but she also has the afterpay so you can make payments. Okay, the next random thing I have to show you, I actually picked this up online from jcpenny.com, I think it was, or, you know, for Sephora or inside JCPenney, whatever. Um, but this was on sale for $9 at the time. I think it's like 14 now, which I'm not sure why they raised the price back up, but this was $9 when I had purchased this, purchased it originally. This is from the Museum of Ice Cream Collection. And I'm really bummed because this was the last one they had. So, I, you know, I was like, yeah, I want that because it was, I could um, pick it up in store. Um, and they had one left for me to do that. So I was like, yeah, on it. But I didn't notice that, I guess, whoever cut the package open put a big old gash in it. You all see that scratch? So it, it kind of sucks. And I didn't even notice that until I, I got it home. She even let me open it and look at it before I brought it home. And I didn't even notice that until I got home. But it, I mean, it's okay. It's not a big deal. It's not gonna affect how the product works. But this is the Sugar Wafer Palette and it's just, um, it's got highlighters. It opens on both sides. So it's got a highlighter, a blush and bronzer on this side. And then you open the bottom and it's got three more. So I kind of like, having you know the different options really pretty and just I the packaging alone you guys you know I had to get it just for the packaging it looks like a big old nutty nut, nutter butter whatever it's called not nutter butter that's a cookie nutty buddy I think that's what it is I have a few clearance items from Walmart some makeup items this is pretty much all makeup except for the shirt and the little bit of skincare I had but I had first come across this and I had been wanting to get this because I mean let's say you said it smells like chocolate and just I don't know the colors looked really pretty so I found this on clearance for $5 it was originally $9.98 this is the CoverGirl chocolate contour palette and it comes with um, a contour shade and two highlighters and they're both really pretty and it smells really good it doesn't smell as good as like the Too Faced chocolate bar palettes but it smells ooh, it smells decent enough, I think. <laughs> so, let's watch this for you right quick. And there are those shades there. This one might be a little dark for me, but you know, I'm gonna get away with it anyway. I think this was the only shade of this they had. I don't think they had like a light and a dark shade in this. Um, so yeah, that was five Duolas. This is about half off. Um, and then I also picked up the single chocolate bronzer, and this one is a shimmer bronzer. Um, and this was, I already took the sticker off, but this was on clearance for $3. And like I said, this one is shimmery, which I usually don't go for shimmery bronzers, but I, I kind of, I want to try it. Um, and that's the color there. It looks really pretty because I know, um, Rachel Leary, she like absolutely loves shimmery bronzers and they look beautiful on her skin, but she's a lot more tan than I am. Like, I'm not tan at all, <laughs> so I don't know if it'll work on me or not, but I'm gonna give it a try, and it was on clearance. I mean, what can I say? I couldn't leave it behind. And then I picked up this because I was so excited to finally have this because Nicole Guerrero, y'all YouTubers, I swear, you're gonna make me broke. She raved about this, um, I guess it's considered a lip gloss. Well, it's a the Vivid Hot Lacquer from Maybelline. This, I paid $3.50 for, it was $6.94, so about half off again. But this is in the shade 60 Tees, and it's just like the nude, the nude shade. And this is what I have on, I did have some of this on top of my lipstick. Let me put some more on. So I really like this. It's not very, it's not, it's not that sticky. Actually, it's not really sticky at all. I mean, I feel it on my lips, obviously, but it doesn't feel really sticky. And I only have one other color of these. 
but I really like that one so I knew I'd like this one and that's why I got this one and especially because it was $3.50 so yeah that's all I grabbed from Walmart and now the rest of the stuff I have is just some random makeup that I've purchased on Mercari the first thing was this Alamar blush palette now I did get this in my BoxyCharm but I got the uh the fair to light one and I really wanted the medium tan one so that's what this one is and it looks like this really love the colors um and I can't remember what I paid for this <laughs> I should have wrote down the prices you guys but all of this stuff was like less than ten dollars um that's why I love Macari and it you can filter it out so that it's just you know new makeup that you're getting because they do sell used makeup on there as well but this was brand new when I got it and I will swatch this for you as well it's a weird angle but there's the colors there I think they're really pretty so there's that and then next I got two uh, pretty vulgar items and these were both brand new as well under $10 I can't remember what I paid for these but I got really good prices really good deals for these but I picked up um, if I draw one more thing the first thing I picked up was one of their bronzers and this is in the shade bronze mannequin I love the packaging because it's like rose gold and that's what that looks like and I'm not gonna swatch anymore because I'm out of room and then and this video is already like a half an hour long so if you want to see swatches of the rest let me know and I will post them on my Instagram for you guys but the next um, item I picked up was a highlighter and this is in shimmering swan no, wait no this is a shimmering swan highlighter and the color is sparkling sass I believe and then it just looks like that really pretty like champagne color nothing too special but I really liked the um, the blush that I received in one of my boxy charms so I wanted to give you know some more of their products a try okay next I have two little baby Becca items here this first one is in vanilla quartz it just looks like that it's a nice like kind of like a white gold I would say really pretty and these are both brand new when I purchased them too if I didn't mention that um, and then this next one is rose glow and I just I love the pink packaging and then this one looks like that it's really beautiful I really like I'm really happy actually I should say that I am growing like my Becca collection because they have really great products okay next I picked up I grabbed whatever you want to say um, this benefit blush this is in California it's one of the like deluxe travel size I think but I really like the packaging I thought it was really cute and of course it's my kind of blush it's that like that peachy color and I'm actually wearing this today on my cheeks and actually I use this a little bit in my crease too so yeah that's what I picked up I think the packaging's adorable I'm a sucker for packaging you guys know you guys know next I picked up another highlighter this is the alchemist a holographic transformer for face and eyes by Kat Von D and it's just a little mini like alchemist palette and this is really pretty too it's super glittery but I really wanted it anyway because I don't mind glittery highlighters honestly and plus like it says you can use this on your eyes too um, it's called teal it's teal aquamarine but it doesn't look like too terribly teal I don't know if you guys will be even be able to to tell I will try to swatch this one for you guys but it looks more white than anything but it does have like a, the slightest teal shift to it I don't I don't know if that'll even pick up on camera but nonetheless it's really pretty and I really like the little packaging it's super cute and then the last thing I picked up from Macari was an Ofra long-lasting liquid lipstick in the shade Miami Fever now I got this because I had gotten the Havana Nights one in my BoxyCharm and I really wanted to have this one too because I know both of these are um, the colors that Kathleen Lights ca came up with with Ofra and I really liked them both I really like this one it's like a um, a super unique like burnt orange color I just I don't know I really liked it so I wanted to pick this one up too so now I have this one and Havana Nights I'm super happy about it okay one last lonely thing that I picked up at Dollar General and it is a LA Colors Holographic Iridescent Lip Gloss. Now, they had a few of these, but I just wanted to grab one for now to see how I liked it. Um, this is in the shade Heavenly. But it's this really pretty, like, nude with really, really, really tiny shimmers in it. 
like I see pink and green and blue and silver like they're so fine you probably can't even you probably can't even see it on camera but it's really pretty and I'll go ahead and try to swatch a little bit of this as well I don't think you're even going to be able to see the glitter at all but the nude shade is is really pretty so that is it there yeah, you probably can't even see the glitter, but it's super pretty, and this is only like $2, so definitely want to go back and grab a couple more of those. Okay, that was everything, you guys. That was everything I had to show you this time around. Um, another random haul. I honestly don't mind doing these, though, because I feel like if I were to show you a haul each time I bought something, it would be like a two-second video. You know what I mean? So I like to save it all up and combine it and show it all to you at all at once. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you saw some things you were interested in and I hope you can find those things for yourself. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. I mean, bleh, bleh. So that was it from That was attractive. like this okay stay open you bitch this is also a little pretty pink um <clears throat> so I use that oh now there's cat hair all in it <sighs> FedEx what you got for me oh he ain't coming here